Hey everybody, Paul here and welcome back to Best Food Review Road Trip. Today our road trip brought us to Depot Bay, Oregon. Now, where is Depot Bay, Oregon? It's a little blip on the map, guys, but it's actually like the number one whale watching place on the Oregon coast. We're thinking about going out and doing some whale watching and taking you with us today, but there's no beaches here, but they do have tide pools. That's kind of common on the Oregon coast. Anyway, let's go check out town and get something to eat. Many years ago, I actually lived in this little town. Of course, I was too young at the time to appreciate its beauty, but it's strange to be back. Um, I love it here. I'm going on a whale watching tour. I don't know, do you think we're gonna see some whales? Some gray whales. Gray? Gray whales, We have yeah. to go down a lot of steps. Oops. I think we're going on that boat right there and they're waiting for us because we bought stuff last minute like they had to walk us over and they're like hold the boat so they might not be too happy with us let's see We found this restaurant right on the road here called The Horn. And the cool thing about this place, if you look behind me, this is the world's smallest arbor. World's smallest, they say. There's actually a sign outside that says that. A lot of the places are full right now and they're kind of small, but there was space in The Horn. So we thought we would come in and check it out, bring you along with us. Let's see what the menu looks like. Walking into this restaurant, is it's nice, it's bright, it's sunny, it's clean. It's a two-level restaurant, and if you really want to get some spectacular views of the Oregon Surf, you need to go upstairs and try to sit up front. However, we chose to sit downstairs so we could get this awesome view of the bay. The menu is nice. It's what you'd expect from a coastal, you know, public house. You're going to have a variety of appetizers you can share. There's chowders and soups, a number of sandwiches, and some seafood. They have a really great list of pizza. So tempted to order pizza because it looks really good. And of course, this is a brew house, so you're going to have a nice list of beers on tap. We decided to order something. They brew here. Let's see. Depot Bay Brewing Company. This is their Moby Red. Mm. That's yummy. It's smooth. It almost has like a nutty flavor. Paul got something a little different though. My turn. I got uh, a half, I believe. It came with an orange. It must be a half, right? Is that an orange or a lemon? It's usually an orange. Let me see. It's a lemon. Oh, that was an orange. Anyway, it's still a half. I'll put what it's called right down here somewhere. It's delicious. It's not too thick. Um, not too fruity. Let me show you something else though. Check this out. I told you I had to get one of these everywhere I go on the Oregon coast. This is their clam chowder here at the Horn. Look at all that butter. I know, isn't that crazy? Look at that. 
Ooh, it's almost, look at that, it's a chunk of butter. Oh, let's, rub it. let's push a little bit over to the side here. Let's see if I can get without so much butter on it. I like, okay, so I like this consistency right here. It's not too runny, it's nice and thick. It not looks, too thick. It looks really hot. It does, but I can see all kinds of minced up little things in there and stuff. I bet it's clams. I bet it's clams. Let's try it out. Mm. Wow. I don't know if it's the butter or if it's just the recipe. That is some delicious delicious uh, clam chowder. Mm, and it's got lots of stuff in it too. Are you going to share that with me? Mm. I think it's warm because all that butter melted. All the chunks of stuff, Paul says. It's clams, potatoes, clams. Mm. Mm. I think that's the best chowder that we've had on the coast so far. That is awesome i think it's rich but it's light in your mouth it's not like super greasy like i expected it to be with all that butter oh my god superb i was so excited to see something that i love on their menu and i don't see in a lot of places and that is a caprese sandwich what is a caprese sandwich let me show you so you're gonna get your mozzarella slices with lettuce, tomato, and usually like a balsamic drizzle. And I decided to go with col uh, coleslaw today because Paul got french fries and I'll just eat some of his. I'll take a bite and give you my opinion. The ciabatta bread looks really nice, but my issue with ciabatta is usually it's too much, too much bread. We'll see. Mm. So yummy. Mm. The greens that they chose to put on here are a little bit bitter, but that kind of balances with the sweetness of the tomato, so I, I really like it. I think Paul will like it too. Take a look at this coleslaw. It doesn't look like anything super special, but let's give it a bite. Everything else I've tried here has been pretty good, so let's see how they do on coleslaw. old coleslaw. It's nice, it's mild, has a nice good crunch to it. It's a win. First of all, I'm going to point out that the music in this place is cool. It's like, they got like funky, like I don't know, but you know what, it's not country, so I'm loving it. I got a fried oyster sandwich, and you see it's on the ciabatta bread. It's got Oysters, fried. I can't say that I'm. I think that's a very. That's a lot of oysters. It's a pretty small amount of oysters, actually. That's a great big one, right there. I know that. I know that. I'm used to Florida where they're like laying over the top, you know. But the coleslaw looks good. On the sandwich, so it's probably the same slaw I got. Huh? Probably, probably. And then I got French fries. Figured I would just be sharing these with Amy anyway. She's gonna give me some of her coleslaw. Mm, you know what? It tastes like a french fry. All right, let's try this fried oyster sandwich. It's toasted. This is super messy, guys. Whoa, I'm getting coleslaw all over the table. Mm. The, um, the bread is fantastic. The, the oysters are not very oystery. They're kind of, um, I think it's easier to eat maybe, I don't know, but I like mine to be big and juicy. Um, but it's pretty good, it's pretty good. The bread's good, coleslaw's good. Let's try that caprese, you know, I never think to order these, I love them. And I always think, oh, it's not gonna be that much food. And then when you order it and you start eating, you're like, oh man. And he has one, I'm like, I wish I would have got that, but let me shut up and eat that. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. Um, it's 
cheese, but I do like the greens that are on there. They actually do accent it well. Mm. It's a really decent sandwich, yeah. yeah. I like it. I normally eat oysters raw. I don't like, well, I don't. I shouldn't say I don't like fried oysters. It's just when I have a choice, I get them raw. So eating them fried on a sandwich, yummy. <laughs> yeah, and that's a little messy, but it's good. I think the, the Paul's right. The breading is on the oyster is really just the right amount, seasoned. But you, it's like I want that like salty water oyster flavor that I get when I eat them raw, and it's not there. Um, but when you put the fried oysters with that yummy coleslaw. It's, it's really good. These fries, maybe they've just been sitting on the plate too long since Paul took forever eating all the food. Mm. They're okay. They're okay. I do like how they have like an extra coating of kind of sprinkled breading on them. They're not just straight fries, but um, I wish they were a little warmer. So what did we think of the horn? We liked it. I think you could not beat the views if you really want to sit down for lunch and be able to see beautiful things around this town. It's a great place to show up. The chowder was some of the best we've had. Do not skip buying the chowder. Sandwiches were good. Um, we've had better, but for something simple for lunch, they were perfect. It's clean and the service was wonderful. The music's great. Uh, we're glad we stopped in today. So if you're in Depot Bay, consider it as an option for yourself. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and ring the bell so we can let you know when we have new reviews coming out. Also leave some comments for us. We'd love to hear from you. In addition, check out your local food bank or food shelter. Um, any organization in town that helps people eat because they always are looking for donations it makes you feel good and it helps the people in your community with something so important. Um, so until we dine together again next time, stay classy!